So a few years ago, I bought this 1952 Czechoslovakian double bass, and it came with a spare set of strings that have just been sat in my drawer for a long time. And yesterday I had one of those light bulb moments where I was like, will it work on a bass guitar? And it did, and it sounds amazing. It's honestly one of the most unique sounds I've ever heard on a bass, and so I am never taking these things off. Before we get into it, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. There's loads of cool stuff coming up. Also in the description, there's two links to the bass station. This is my members only area, which is soon to be full of tutorials, behind the scenes footage and much more. So please consider joining up if you enjoy my videos. And I've also left a link to my brand new website where you can access tabs, audio files and backing tracks. All right, let's have a look at this thing. Then we're gonna do some sound tests and then I'm gonna answer some of your comments and questions. Presentation has never been my strong point. This might be one of the ugliest bridges I've ever seen. And moving up to the headstock, well, I'm just gonna class this as modern art. Cause that can mean anything nowadays, can't it? And here's the best bit. This sturdy and well thought out design will keep my strings in place. But let's be honest, this was never gonna look that great. Look at the size of this bass compared to this. These strings are not meant to go on here. But just listen to how it sounds. First up, we've got both pickups on, tone all the way up, and we're using a pick, so this is about as bright as it's gonna get. Now let's see how dark this thing can get. Tone all the way off, front pickup only, and foam under the bridge. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love it. So I put out a short on my new creation yesterday, and I'm gonna very professionally answer some of your comments by reading them off my phone. Can't you cut the strings? Um, yeah, I probably could. Honestly, I thought I might actually put these on the upright one day because upright strings are mega expensive. I think I might have actually damaged them beyond use. Now nah, let's leave them like this. I kind of like the way it looks. Now put round wounds on an upright. I don't think they're going to be long enough. I'll try it. I'll try it. Play tool on it. What bass is that? This is the new Epiphone Newport bass. Well, it was until I butchered it. Can you use a bow on it? My next door neighbour plays the cello, so I've just nipped over and borrowed a bow. I do not play the cello. In fact, I never used one of these in my life. So this will probably sound horrible, but let's try it. I think you need a bit more practice, don't you? Thank you for watching, guys. I am blown away by your support at the moment. Please subscribe if you haven't done already, and I'll see you soon.